What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about uh, Jose Altuve and the Houston Astros. Obviously, the cheating scandal uh, just continues to get deeper and deeper and deeper uh, as we learn more and more information. Now, as a Yankee fan, um, obviously, the last three years, um, we've you know had an opportunity, had good enough teams to go to the World Series. Played the Astros twice, really tough. Um, 2017, we lost in seven games. And, of course, last year, we lost in six games and lost on a walk-off home run by Jose Altuve. Uh, obviously broke my heart. That game was very emotional. I remember live-streaming that game. I couldn't believe DJ LeMay, who hit that two-run homer to tie the game. I, I just didn't see it coming. Got so excited, and then I can remember saying, I don't want to see Jose Altuve up in the, in the bottom of the ninth. I just wanted to get to the tenth inning. And, of course, he made his pay. He hits the two-run walk-off homer. They go to the World Series, and we're left you know, with another 100-win season and nothing to show for it, really. Um, obviously, all this came out about them banging the trash can, talking about you know this is going to be an off-speed pitch or slider. No, no sound means a fastball. You saw the entire setup with the garbage can near the dugout, and the camera, and everything else. It's just amazing that they were allowed to get away with all this. And then, of course... It comes out that Jose Altuve now, you know, you could see him saying, don't take my jersey off, don't rip my jersey off when he hit the walk-off homer. Don't rip my jersey off. Because he had a buzzer on his shoulder. It's gotten to a point now where they have buzzers on their shoulder. He's wired. And they're getting little little synapses, little uh, impulses to let them know what pitch is coming. So I said after the, I read about the 2017 thing, all this stuff came out 2017, I said, as much as I love Jose Altuve, I'll always be thinking in the back of my mind, and uh, listen, Chapman hung that slider. It was a terrible pitch, but I said, always in the back of my mind, wondering if he knew that pitch was coming, and it's obvious that he did. I was mad when I first heard it, uh, without a doubt. It, it ticked me off. As a Yankee fan, you know, I'm sitting there going, well, th this is BS. I mean, we should. I, I've wanted to play the Dodgers in the World Series because it's old school baseball. The Yankees and Dodgers are a huge rivalry, especially when they were back here in Brooklyn. And I, I wanted to see it. I thought last year for sure we were going to. Thank God the, the Nationals won the whole thing last year. Thank God that that happened. Uh, congratulations to the Nationals. I'm so glad that they beat the Astros, especially now looking back at all this stuff. Um, so initially I was mad. But the more I think about it, um, I actually became very sad uh, about the state of baseball. I love baseball. It's my favorite sport. Yes, I'm a dire Giants fan, and I love my Giants, and I'm, I'm passionate about the Giants. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I lose my mind because every game in football means so much more than every game in baseball. There's 162 games in a baseball season. There's 16 in a football season. So one game means so much more than one game in baseball. It's not close. The best teams are going to lose 60 games a year. So you know you're going to lose games. Okay? So obviously I'm much more emotional during a Giants game than a Yankee game. But I love the Yankees. I, I mean, that's that's my team. So And I haven't seen them win a uh, World Series since 2009. I know a lot of fans be like, what are you talking you, you know, I've seen five championships. And like, I haven't seen any. And I get that. I mean, I understand that. But at the same time... Even if your team did, if you, if you did see your team win five World Series, and then you know they got cheated out of the last three, you know you wouldn't be happy about it. Um, but I'm sad because Jose Altuve is one of my favorite players. He he always was. Uh, you know the Houston Astros single A affiliate, uh, Troy City Valley Cats play about 20 miles south of me up here in upstate New York, and I went down there a lot. You know, I saw Hunter Pence down there. You saw George Springer down there. saw Jose Altuve there. And so you get to see these young kids, uh, and, and every time I saw them in the Astros and they would succeed, I would say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for those guys. I watched them play at the lowest level baseball, and they outside of rookie ball, obviously. And I'm like, you know, it's good to see these guys succeed because I got to see them play in person. Jose Altuve, being an undersized guy, uh, just always rooted for him. He's an underdog. He's the guy's no more than five six. I don't care what they list him at, man. That guy's five six, if not less. And I always said he's got such a big heart. And I said this little guy, he's out there, he's battling, he's got power, he's a great hitter, and and it turns out the littlest guy's the biggest cheater. To me, it's it's a black eye on baseball. 
Um, it's it's just terrible for baseball. It, it sticks out like a sore thumb. I don't think the Astros' penalties were harsh enough uh, at all. I think that hints should be. Ba- I think they all should be banned from baseball. You're going to ban Pete Rose for betting on baseball games. You're going to ban Joe Jackson for being part of the Black Sox scandal back in 1919 when he hit 400 in the World Series. He obviously had nothing to do with what went on there against the Reds in 1919, but they banned him from baseball. And and somehow these guys only get they got fired, but they're not banned. They get suspended for a year. Whoop de do. The Astros got five fined five million dollars. Whoop de do. You think five million dollars is, is anything to a, a you know a major league baseball organization? That's the equivalent of me losing a quarter. I mean, come on, man. It, it's nothing to them. It wasn't harsh enough. And now this stuff comes out. Apparently, I think Jose Altuve is going to get banned for baseball. If if this shows up. And these are legitimate claims that the guy was wearing a wire. He's going to be gone. He's going to be gone from baseball. And it's a shame because, again, I loved watching him play. And I just was like, this guy's a scrappy gamer. Like, he's got a lot of heart. And I always suspect those guys that are undersized and and they play really tough and they play really hard and they're really good. You know? Because, you know, nobody gave them a chance. I don't know how long they've been doing this. But I know that the guy was good before this. It's kind of like Barry Bonds taking steroids. Barry Bonds was or being allegedly used steroids. Barry Bonds was one of the best players in baseball from 1988 through 1995 before he decided to jump on this stuff. And the whole reason Barry Bonds did that is because he knew Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa were doing it, and he knew that they were trash players, and they were, especially McGuire. McGuire was garbage. McGuire was not a good player at all. Okay, McGuire was nothing but a home run hitter. He couldn't run. He couldn't field. He was hitting in the low 200s. The guy was nothing until he started taking that. And then all the, the hype and hoopla about the Roger Maris chase in 1998, that brought fans back to baseball after the strike in 94. Bud Selig covered this up. There's no doubt in my mind he covered it up because it was bringing people back to the park. Barry Bond said if these two guys can get away with this and they're getting all this attention and they're not good, and I'm one of the best players in baseball. 30-30 club almost every year, hitting 300, winning MVPs. Great left fielder for the Pirates, for the Giants. And then he said, okay, I'll do this, and let's see what happens. The guy became the modern-day Babe Ruth. So Jose Altuve, like I said, Barry Bonds didn't need that to be a great player. Barry Bonds is a Hall of Famer, in my opinion. There's no doubt about that. No one will ever change my mind. The guy was a Hall of Famer before this stuff. One of the best players in baseball. But Zico got the best of him, and he wanted that edge, and, and there you go. And now it's cost him a shot at the Hall of Fame. Most I do think he'll get in eventually, but it's cost him a long time. Um, obviously, they're not getting banned from baseball for that. That's a little different. Uh, you're putting a banned substance in your body at that point, and it's not really cheating per se. It, it's, it's an illegal advantage, but... You are not getting signs. You are not doing anything illegal as far as, uh, you know, the game of baseball. You're just, you're using illegal substances um, to give yourself an edge. And it's not even so much for strength that it is recovery because those, those seasons are so long. These guys need to recover quicker. And, you know, that's what that is. What, what Jose Altuve has done, and I think Josh Reddick is another one that's implicated in this. And there's a few other players. Um, this is really bad. And it's, like I said, it's sad and it's a shame. Um, it's just, it's disgraceful and it, it sucks. Um, because like I said, I love the game of baseball and I always have, and this is just not good. Um, the deeper this gets, the, the worse it is. Um, and you know, the, the whole reason this came out is because somebody on on Twitter, I believe they're on Twitter, uh, claimed to be Carlos Beltran's niece, is what they said. They knew this person knew Carlos Beltran was going to get the Mets job a week before he got it. So somebody knew something. Somebody knows some insider information. The same person that doesn't have their account anymore. They got rid of it. Same person has like locker room uh, photos and all this stuff that were implicating these guys and using this. And Gary Sheffield Jr. came out and said, "Come on, guys, that's nobody's niece." This is a a player's burner account, and it makes sense. This is probably somebody within the organization that knows this was going on, and they just wanted to come clean and get it off their chest. But it's a shame, man. It's it's embarrassing, and uh, we'll see what baseball does. But I I think that that Jose Altuve uh, 
got a good chance. And if he is found guilty of these charges, he should be banned from baseball. There's no doubt about it. The guy should never play in the major leagues again, ever. They should never allow it again. Anybody that was doing this with these wires and getting impulses, little uh, you know zaps or whatever, whatever it was to let them know the pitchers are coming, they're getting that into it, that they're cheating that badly, none of these guys should be allowed to play baseball ever again. Not, not in the Major League Baseball. No way. Go overseas and play or whatever if somebody will take you, but not not in this league. No place for that. It's uh, Like I said, I was mad at first, and then I just became sad over it. It's 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 sad. It's sad that players need to do this. They're, they're good enough without it, and for some reason they felt the need to go out and just go next level uh, cheating. So that's all I got in the video. I, I believe that his MVP should be taken away. I think they should start stripping things. They, st- they stripped Melky Cabrera of the batting title for getting busted using PEDs the year he won it. Either that or he declined it, whatever it was. But I think Jose Altuve should probably give his MVP back. I think the Houston Astros should have to vacate their title for 2017. They did that to USC. Reggie uh, Reggie Bush had to give back the Heisman. USC had to vacate their title. I think that the Astros should have to vacate that. And I think that the Boston Red Sox 2018 should also have to vacate it. That's what should happen. We'll see what happens. Anyway, this video went really long, and I'm sorry for that. I just wanted to get it off my chest. Uh, That's all I got. Until next time, guys, it's Bad Dog, and I am gone. Peace!